Welcome to another episode of The Epic, Epic Family, Family Road, Road Trip. Trip. In this episode, we share with you a day in the life living off the grid in a log cabin on a remote wilderness island in Ontario, Canada. Good morning guys. Right now we're making some coffee. We always get a lot of questions about how we make coffee, especially while on the road. We grind our coffee using this little handheld coffee grinder. It's from a company called Black Rifle Coffee Company. The uh, reason why we chose this one is just because it's small. It only makes one cup at a time, so you have to grind if you're making it for five people, five different separate times. But the reason why we like it is because it's super durable and it's obviously easily portable. And another thing we use is something we've had for a bunch of years are these GSI ultralight Java drips. Um, we just use these because they can literally fold up into nothing and we can put them anywhere. And then they attach to any size of cup just by clipping onto the sides. Uh, recently we've started using paper filters just because uh, we find it makes the coffee quite a bit better. So for breakfast this morning, I'm going to be making some French toast. After a delicious breakfast, we got straight to our chores outside. The 
The mosquitoes were out in force on the side of the island, so I moved to the other side where the breeze had blown them away. All right, so we're just gonna let this fire burn down and turn into coals so we can cook something with the Dutch oven later. We'll just keep adding fuel to it and letting it burn down. Lighting the fire to get the hot tub going. We're gonna keep it going all day. Should be perfect by tonight. So right now, I'm just sharpening our chainsaws chain. It's gotten dull after all the times we've used it. If I do this properly, it'll make it 100 times easier to use now. Pointing this, uh, file is it has a guide on top which tells you how to angle the file on the uh, teeth of the chain to properly sharpen it because uh, you can either make this thing super sharp or you can make it bounce off of wood 
rather than cut it if you do it improperly. This just kind of helps you know exactly what angle each time you can realign after every time you go through. Alright, so right beside our trail here there's this big uh, dead cedar starting to lean over the trail and we're gonna end up cutting it down now but we're gonna be using it for a garden we can use this since it's uh, pretty wide and tall and get some pretty long pieces um, to extend our garden because we just need to grow a bit more vegetables What are you doing? How am I supposed to turn around and walk sideways over all these logs? So we're just gonna draw off all the bark off of here so it helps prevent it from rotting so fast. And, uh, but yeah, at least the boys got it started. It's all coming together. So a lot of people were asking why we made charcoal. It was for a few different reasons. One of them we'll still, we're still working on, but uh, one of the main reasons is also for cooking. So we're gonna use this charcoal while we're doing cast iron cooking over the fire.
Um, the reason why I put uh, unburnt charcoal on top first and then added stuff that's been burning is uh, just that it'll slowly smolder together. Like I'm, I'm not gonna light it up and whatever. We're just trying to get the food up to 350 um, degrees Fahrenheit on top right now. And uh, the reason why you use charcoal, if you don't know why you'd use charcoal, is just because it burns a lot hard, hotter than wood and then won't create like tons of ash. And you won't have logs of wood on top of your uh, cast iron pot. Before dinner, we took our first cliff jump of the season. Woo! Rock and roll, buddy. That's water, not that bad. It's actually not that bad. <laughs> We really hope you enjoyed this week's video. Make sure you stay tuned for a new episode every week. A big thank you to our Patreon family for all your support. We really appreciate it. And in the meantime, we'll see you down the road. <laughs>